Hello, and welcome to Cultivate to Thrive podcast. I'm your host, Michelle Gunn. My mission is to help women find and live their purpose, resulting in discovering who they innately are. Throughout this podcast journey, I will help you to uncover your talents and your strengths to lead you on the path of realizing value in self, to grow in love of self, to lead to a fulfilling purpose, and to build stronger relationships. In this episode, we will talk about rest, revitalize and energize self for transition. Transition is the process or a period of changing from one state or condition to another. We experience transition many times during the day. Generally, our day's activities can be divided by beginning, middle, and end. Although the time of each part of the day can be different for everyone because of shift work or demands, those periods generally have specific transitions. Our days are not only defined by those transitions. Depending on many factors, including family, career, job, pets, responsibilities, and many more, the number of transitions can vary greatly even among members of the same family. People have different definitions and understanding of rest. As a child, it's a forced downtime where fun is missed. Oftentimes, children will fight taking a nap even when they are cranky and irritable. I remember my own kids well when they were little. My son, who's a great example of this, usually only rested when he stopped moving, and then he was out, even if he was eating. We have plenty pictures of him as a toddler and a preschooler, either sitting in his high chair or sitting at the table with food on his plate, sleeping, because he simply did not stop until he had to. And like many kids, my daughters oftentimes would fight bedtime because they were so afraid of missing out on something and there was so much more to do. As a teenager, rest seems to be something they need only when they want it. They often sleep in, making the most of the afternoon and evening hours. Some teens have been known to nap. They usually play hard and rest hard. As an adult, Rest seems to be something we try to just fit into our schedule. It's not necessarily taken when it's needed, but more often when there's no choice. Rest is taken when the body gives in to illness from lack of rest. This can come in the forms of headaches, migraines, or other illnesses. I know that I can tell when I've reached my limit because of the way I feel. I just feel really dragged and down and just start not feeling good. I know I need extra sleep and to give my body rest. Women who work and have a family usually put rest and self-care at the bottom when there's that seldom time left over. It can be very rare. Family and work demands take their toll. For single mothers without a solid support system, This can be quite common. I ask you, if you are seldom refreshed and energized, how can you be your best for others? Now, life happens. We get caught up with deadlines and expectations, responsibilities, even responsibilities we put on ourselves. We're often pulled by the busyness of life. It seems that society teaches us that if we're not always busy, we must not be successful. Well, I disagree. If you're not resting and revitalizing yourself, you can't be successful. You can't be your best. Oftentimes, when we're on a mission of change or meeting demands, we just persevere, no matter what our body tells us. This can be very detrimental to our health. Listen to the cues of your body. Are you feeling fatigued? Are you not able to clearly think things through? Do you have new aches or pains? Are you not feeling productive? 
Do you feel like there's more stuff you should have been able to get done in the day? Do you feel like when you get home, that's it? You have nothing else left to give? Are you starting to get sick easier? Think about these things. These and others may just be some signs that you need rest. R-E-S-T, revitalize and energize self for transition. What this means is that you, your body, and your mind need to be prepared for what comes next. There are many ways to accomplish this. Some are relaxing in nature, taking a break and listening to music, taking a day off or some extra sleep, or just plain relaxation. Reading a good book for pleasure, spending time with family or friends, Think about what revitalizes and refreshes you. After all, we are all made uniquely. Some of us are refreshed and revitalized by having alone time, where some of us strive to be with other people. Some of us need the exercise to get us pumping and feeling alive. Some of us need quiet and still time. So think about what works for you. Now here's some other tips. Review your sleeping habits. The amount of time spent sleeping is important, but if it's not restful sleep, it won't matter how many hours you get. Do you like to nap? Many people benefit from a short nap midday to refresh. Personally, I always feel dragged down after a nap, so I don't take them. Once I'm down, I'm down. Take short breaks by stretching or taking a short walk. Prevention is also important. What activities refresh you and perk up your mind? Mind stimulation is important to keep your mind working properly. Deep breathing can help refocus as well as to oxygenate your brain, which helps with memory. Keeping hydrated with healthy fluids, water is essential, is very important. Review your diet. Are you eating foods high in carbohydrates? They tend to drag you down. Are you getting sugar or caffeine highs? These usually follow with crashes that affect your productivity. Review your habits. This includes hydration, diet, exercise for both mind and body, proper breathing, and quality sleep. Journaling is a great way to review your habits. Spend a week keeping track in the journal. Log your sleep. What time did you go to bed? What time did you wake up? Did you feel rested? Add any insights each time about the quality of sleep. Do you remember dreams you've had? This will let you in on a clue of whether or not you're getting good REM sleep. The National Sleep Foundation guidelines advise that adults need between seven to nine hours of sleep. You may need less or you may need more. I find that my sweet spot for sleep is around six or seven hours. When I get more than that, I don't feel so great when I wake up in the morning. I feel kind of lagging all day. How many eight ounce glasses of water do you drink? It's recommended to drink eight eight ounce glasses of water a day. Make sure you're spreading it out over the day. There are some scientists that think even sipping on it regularly is better than just drinking glasses of it. You may need to work to get there, but just be intentional about your habits. It'll get easier over time. Of course, journaling the food you eat, how much, the time of day it is consumed, and what is it will give you a clear picture of what you may need to improve on. Oftentimes, we're not really aware of what we're eating, how often we're eating, and what time we might be eating it. 
because we're doing mindless activities, watching TV, listening to something and just kind of snacking. So the journal really helps for you to get a clear picture on that. Lastly, I recommend logging your exercise. It is most important for mental as well as physical health to not just sit at a desk for eight hours straight. Take mini breaks to stand up and stretch. You'll feel better. Remember, exercise gets the blood pumping, which helps get oxygen not only to your brain, but to the extremities of your body. Take some time to throw in some R-E-S-T rest before your body dictates the time that you need to spend in bed. Remember that rest, R-E-S-T, is revitalize and energize self for transition. Using some of the suggestions that I've talked about today and finding what works best for you will help you feel better and be the best you that you can be, not only for yourself, but for others as well. So get that rest. Thank you for joining me for today's episode of Cultivate to Thrive podcast. Please remember to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and share with someone who needs to hear today's message. This podcast is brought to you by Cultivate and Thrive, coaching by Michelle. Have a blessed and purposeful week.